<laughs> Does that count as one thing? You snuck it around a little bit. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yes, and this is why I was never an accountant. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Julie McMahon, and I am here today with my guest, Kara Mayer Robinson. Hi friends, welcome to Really Famous. I'm Kara and this is a special episode. I am the guest and my interviewer is Julian McMahon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, now this is like a quick interjection from our people and then we'll get back and whatever, but I got eight questions I'm gonna ask you. Okay. Okay, you just kind of off the cuff kind of thing, answer how you like, and then we'll move on to the next question. So these are short answer? Yeah, do whatever you want. Okay. You can go for two days if you You're need like to. You're like me. This, but this is why also, the, uh, just I'm going to back up for a second, because this is why, like you said, this is why we connected, I think, right away, is because we both have that same authentic interest in people, mm -hmm. So, and which is why I invited you to be the interviewer, because Whoa. I knew that's how you would be. So you, I think your style is very similar to mine as an interviewer, even though this is probably your first interview, is it? It is. All right. I feel very honored to be asked to okay, be here, good. by the way, so thank you. And I, you deserve it. <laughs> thank you. And you have risen to, the, to my expectations and beyond. Ah, great. All right, okay. short answer. Okay, no, you don't have to oh, short right, answer. Right, right, right. Whatever you, but but we I've can short the, answer. I've made the mistake before of saying something short answer with yeah. people who can't give a short answer yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it does you do lose that rhythm a little no, bit no 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 this is all free for whatever you want it to all right whatever you want it to be okay what's your favorite color uh yeah i mean it depends on what the thing is trees purple um dresses red generally speaking i'm attracted to blues like ocean blues and maybe some like sea glass green to go with it also love white. It's very clean. So, so your favorite color is six of them. Yes, exactly. Which is My why I color is every color there is. I wanted a college that had forty thousand students. Choices oh, variety. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite time of day? I'm gonna give you the same answer. Okay. Like I like mornings. I thought you were gonna say red dresses. Uh, Oh. <laughs> I like mornings. I also like like I like an afternoon. I like a late afternoon. I like an evening. I'm gonna say probably right before the sun sets. I'm picturing myself on the beach, and that's the best time at the beach. Yep. At like five o'clock or something yep. like that. Mm -hmm. That's a nice time. Okay. It depends on where I am. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Uh, what's your favorite vacation spot? Italy. Italy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Are we down south or are we in uh, Venice? Or so we in I feel drawn to Italy by and large. One of my favorite places is Via Reggio, which is near Florence on the beach. But I also feel at home in the whole Napoli area. Mm. I just feel like that's just a little grittier and authentic and you should like that too because this is real people i feel like like this is it's the people that i love i mean i love the landscape too but it's the people the danny aiello personality or the authentic the authenticity and the love and the passion and all of that it's all there so anywhere except the amalfi coast in august when all of the tourists are there and you hear more english being spoken than italian <laughs> it's particular about august <laughs> Um. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I love even. I just love going to Rome. I love. I lived in Milano for a year when I was like oh. eighteen. Or, yeah, I was modeling at the time. Oh. And um. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. What was actually. that like? It was awesome. I mean, I arrived in Milano. I, I, you know what? I'm going to get too much into myself. Let's talk about it. Okay, your, but by the way, I yeah. love that you call it Milano. What um, did I did I call it Napoli or Naples? I think I said I think Napoli. You call both. Uh, okay, but it's funny that you still call it Milano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're not just gonna call it Milan. Well, it's interesting because I was there for a year or so, and I picked up Italian because I had to. You couldn't can't get around without it. 
but you pick up Italians really quickly. Okay, I'm so jealous of you right now. Or sorry, envious is the word. Jealousy is between three people. But anyway, I am so the psychiatrist I right ju- there. I just got. <laughs> well, I just, just read this. Herself. This is like the journalist in me because also because I've just ri- I love words and meanings and whatnot. And I just I just read this like not that long ago. The difference between jealousy and envy is that jealousy is between three people. There's a third person involved. Oh, okay. Envy is two. Yeah, I think you can say that I'm jealous of something, though. I know, that's you know what, what I, I mean? said, I'm but jealous the better of that word is envy. bar that that person's eating or that... Well, I'm envious that yeah. you picked up Italian like that because I have been learning Italian, uh-huh. trying to learn Italian. I lost it that quickly, too, but I think you got to go to Italy. I think you're right. Yes, I have to go to Italy, but I bet if you go back to Italy, it comes right back to you. I did start, like, but I got mixed up with a little Spanish. I get all over the place. Yeah. I'm not very good with languages. I wish I was much better. But anyway, my daughter, on the other hand, is very good. Um... Okay, so New York City in winter or Florida? <laughs> yeah, in winter only? Hey, that's the question. Put me in Miami in the winter. <laughs> we talk a lot about the weather, so I thought it was a funny it's one to bring up. It's important to us. <laughs> it is important, isn't it? All right. Do you like reading or watching television? Well, both. Mm-hmm. Um, but both, but I would say television. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, I, I love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. I watch it all. Mm-hmm. You know, lowbrow, highbrow. I just am really interested in, I love the stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also love reading. Yeah, because I find at home, I switch the TV on a lot, but I go on vacation, I read the whole time. Yeah, yeah same. I don't watch TV much on vacation. Mm-hmm. I will read. Mm-hmm. So again, it depends on where and mm-hmm. when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exercise or a bowl of ice cream? Uh, both. <laughs> One after the other? I'm not a Exercise big... and then a bowl of ice cream <laughs> or is it a bowl of ice no, cream and then exercise? Do, oh, yeah. Enjoy. But I, I don't know. While you're maybe like scoops of the ice cream or like swim balls or whatever in between on the treadmill. I do not like the gym. Not my thing. But I do. I walk. I love walking. So I know that's not... Re- it is exercise, but it's not no, like it's great working out. But I walk my dog for these long, long walks. And I love it. And I go fast and far. And it's my favorite thing. Mm. Um and I love ice cream. Like I love, I love a good gelato, chocolate gelato in, in in Roma. Can't go wrong. We lived in a place in California, and my daughter was in the middle of you know high school, and every night there, there's a lo- there was a local ice cream shop, and it closed at midnight. And every night at she was you know she'd be up studying all night, and every night I go down about eleven forty five and go and get us <laughs> get us ice love cream. It. It's so awesome. I love that. <laughs> See, those are little things. They're great little times you know oh, they're just like those little moments that stand out right? yeah. yeah and then you go walk around after and it's called la passaggiata it's in italy this is what they do they'll go get a little gelato and it's not oh, gonna be a but massive you also go to dinner you have your dinner thing and you yeah. go for a walk and get some gelato exactly love that just walk and walk around we're, we're moving mm-hmm. um clam bar or lobster roll Wait, clam bar? Well, clam, you know, clam soup, clam, sorry, clam bar. So it's my, when you were talking about seafood before, yeah. I was thinking about my, one of my favorite, I love seafood, mm-hmm. but um, in, anytime we used to vacation at the Jersey Shore, mm-hmm. my staples were, and they still are when I go to Boston, mm-hmm. New England clam chowder and steamers. I love steamers. They're okay. steamed clams, but they're very specific. Okay. I don't love clams in general as much as steamers, okay. which they're also called piss clams. Yes, no, I know. I'm not sure I like that name, but okay, right. I'll go with it. But that is but what that's they actually are. kind of what they do. Okay, I don't need to know that though. Okay, no, it's water. Oh, okay. So they shoot water they out. They shoot water out because they're they're fil- filter animals right mm. they feel like oysters and whatever else they filter the water through their yeah. system but they kind of shoot it out right and yeah. never look too close at the piss clam <laughs> it really does not look appetizing at all mm. you have to kind of just like dip it in the butter or the clam juice uh-huh. and just eat it lobster rolls i like them when they're not mayo i don't like mayo oh okay there's this place on the way out to montauk it's on the left-hand side of that freeway, Montauk Highway, as you go out. And it's called the Clam Bar or something. Okay. Oh, it's oh wait. That's the that's the lobster roll. Lobster roll. Isn't it? Ridiculous. Oh, so you're talking about the names of places. No. Oh. I was just talking about what, you know. Okay. I, I, I find the seafood here so interesting because you got the New England clam chowder. Then yeah. What's the other clam chowder? The Manhattan. Manhattan. But Manhattan. nobody has that here. I had it the other day. Oh, in Manhattan? In Manhattan? No, in in oh, Long Island. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, it's fa- it was fantastic. I never have Manhattan clam cheddar, but I do love, by the way, I do love spaghetti, uh, linguine with clam sauce or right. yeah, me too. spaghetti alle vongole yeah, in Italian. But the lobster roll, which is on the way to Montauk, if mm. not in Montauk, mm-hmm. was, did you see the show The Affair? Mm-mm. With Dominic Weist, is that West? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dominic West, not yeah. Weist. That's Diane Weist. Dominic West, and um, that's loud. Um, who is the, Ruth Wilson? Sorry, I don't you know. You don't know that one? No. Uh, I feel like you would like it. The I feel affair? like you might want to try it on Showtime. It was okay. Showtime then, but it took place <clears throat> out in Montauk. The whole story. Okay. And that was a big part of the show. And okay. I remember driving out there once when the show was still on. I was like, gotta yeah. take a picture of this. Ah! Okay. Because I'm always a fan of TV shows. Uh-huh. Like if I see, by the way, if I see a sign that says base camp, you go. I'm going. <laughs> I am there. Like it doesn't matter that I I sit down with I've been invited, celebrities or whatever. I am still so uh, passionately obsessed with behind the scenes of TV shows. I oh, love that's it. That's fantastic. Okay, if time and the universe allowed for it, would you come back as Kara? Maybe fix a few mistakes, do whatever, what, whatever, if there were any. Or would you come back as somebody else? Oh, that's so interesting. I think I would try somebody else because I, you know, I've done this already. I don't think I'd fix anything. I don't really have many regrets in life. So I don't think I would, I don't feel the need to switch anything up. Mm -hmm. I feel lucky that I am where I am. I think the mistakes are half of it, aren't they? If not more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You learn much more that way. And as we were saying before, they lead you to where you're destined to be, uh, you know, where you where it's great yeah no a lot one of door opens okay cool. one door closes okay uh to finish up um i have this slightly esoteric question for you okay so if i were to tell you that whatever dream wish or desire that you had at this present moment whatever it was that that were able to come true what would that be does it have to be one thing? One thing. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I got I a limit you somewhere. You can't come up with another three. I'm going to give you all colors. the colors. <laughs> okay. One thing. Um, I'm going to kind of encapsulate a lot in the one thing. You're going to try and make one thing six? <laughs> well, I want to cover all the important things. So, like, all my priorities in life, you know, of course, family, friends, you know, I'm not allowed to say more than one thing, so but I'm, I'm, right now I'm about to fire off like four different things that I would like to have. I will. TV show You've already travel. said three. That's four. That's five. <laughs> but I'm going to enca- try to encapsulate, or use one thing to encapsulate all of okay, it. Okay, but if which it all is, came into one thing, what, is that, what does that mean? Which is, I think, a life with a Danny Aiello life, I'm going to call it, because a of how we talked before. A life that's and it, it full, passionate, loving, a lot of love there, a lot of personality, a lot of art, a lot of travel, a lot of all of that, all the good things, just the good things, all of it. It's all there. So all of that. Great. That's a lot. <laughs> Does that count as one thing? You snuck it around a little bit. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Yes, and this is why I was never an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Yeah. And that's all we have for today. Okay. Yeah. So how do you feel? I feel great. I really appreciate you um, inviting me onto your show and, and, and taking the time to chat to me and, and um, sit in that seat as opposed to this one. And that was really fun. It's really cool. As you know, I'm Kara Mayer Robinson, and this is my special guest interviewer. Julie McMahon, the interviewer, du jour. Hope you liked it.